I don't need much when I go to the restroom. I really don't. G give me a urinal. Give me a toilet. Give me some shit tickets. Give me a sink. Maybe a mirror so I can, you know, see if there's anything in my teeth. And I'm out the door. That's it. That's all I need. I'm a simple guy. Then they brought the newspapers in and put them over the urinals. You know, that's fine. Some people need to be reading something while they're peeing. Oh, the Dow dropped 10 points today. Oh my god, I pissed all over my shoe. God damn it. And then the TVs came in. You know, you can't miss 15 seconds of that all-important baseball game. And the radios and things like that. Then they brought in the bathroom attendants. You know, creepy guys staring at you while you urinate, asking you how your wife is doing. You know, that kind of thing. But this is just completely fucking insane! Thank you to Craptastic Jack for sending me this article. Let me brace myself before I begin reading this. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs have announced plans to install brand new urinal gaming systems in all the restrooms at Coca-Cola Park. Touted as the world's only truly hands-free game controller, the system will allow users to play a game while they pee. Yes, with their urine. According to a press release, as a fan approaches the urinal, a video screen detects the user and engages in a gaming mode. Once in gaming mode, the user interacts with the game by peeing on it. The urinal sensors determine where the player is urinating and the strength of his stream and use that information to provide visual feedback on the screen which is mounted at eye level. Among the games on tap for the 2013 season is an alpine snowmobiling game in which the player is apparently directed to pee on penguins as they approach. Let me give you a visual, ladies and gentlemen. And when I say visual, I don't mean I'm actually going to whip my schlong out and say, Oh, look at this. <laughs> no, I'm just going to try to. Okay, there's two sensors on the urinal. And if the screen directs you to go left, you turn your piss pump to the left and pee on the left sensor. And if it tells you to go right, you turn your piss pump to the right and you pee on the right sensor. And apparently it even has something that detects the strength of your urine, which gives you fire hose pissers out there a very unfair advantage. There are a lot of problems with this, ladies and gentlemen, okay? There, there are quite a few problems that I can see with this, and some of you may already be able to tell what those problems would be. But number one, I don't know about you guys out there in YouTube land and the world, whoever may be watching this, but whenever I do play video games, which is very rare, I get very into it. In fact, that's one of the reasons I don't play video games very much, getting all excited over something that really doesn't fucking matter, images on the screen. But, uh... I get very emotive. I move around, I convulse, I move back and forth, I throw the controller, I scream expletives at the screen. How do you think this is going to play into those people that are urinal gaming? Let's say you're really focused, you got your hands on your Peter and you're looking at the screen and you're really into this game and you're about to go for that high score and it tells you to make a sharp left. Oh my god, I just pissed all over the pat leg of the guy next to me. Oops, sorry man. No, it's okay, let me get you back. <laughs> I told me to turn right. <laughs> Bastard. And imagine the janitors. Imagine how they're going to feel when people are pissing left, pissing right, pissing every which way but up and down. Imagine how they're going to feel having to come in there with a mop and bucket. And you goddamn cocksuckers urinal gaming. And imagine the, the, the runoff of that. In a lot of bathrooms, they have a drain right in the middle of the floor and it runs down slope. So that means people are going to be stepping in other people's urine. Hey, imagine that, stepping in another man's pee water in the restroom. That really personal touch. The second major problem I see with this is time. This is installed at a ballpark, which means a lot of piss water, a lot of Budweiser being uh, ingested. I don't know why the fuck you drink Budweiser, especially for 8 bucks a little 20 ounce glass. Well, that means a lot of people are going to be going in and out of the bathroom. That means there are going to be lines. These games average 55 seconds. How do you think that line is going to feel when they're, when they're waiting because people are taking too much time playing PP on the sensor? Think they're going to be happy? You think they're going to be thrilled that they're waiting because people are playing a fucking video game while they're pissing? I can't even remember the last time I pissed for 55 seconds! Okay, maybe a few years ago when I drank a whole shitload of Miller Lite and I vomited straight afterwards because Miller Lite fucking sucks! But I piss on average maybe 30 seconds! What are you going to say to the guys you're walking out? Hey, sorry, man. I was going for that high score. Fuck you! <sighs> this is a tremendously stupid idea. At least to me. Not just because of that, but why do you need to be entertained in the bathroom? You know I entertain myself in the bathroom when I go into the stalls? I piss the little shit streaks off the side of the toilet bowl and I make a game out of it. Every time I see a little streak of feces on the side of the ball, I try to pee it up. I try to help the people that have to clean the bathrooms. I'm doing my part, goddammit. I'm entertaining myself, and I'm helping the janitors out. 
But that's it. That's all I need. I go in, I take a shit, I wipe my ass, I sometimes wash my hands, shake my friend's hand. How you doing? Something to keep in mind for those of you that may meet me and want to shake my hand. And then I'm out the fucking door. That's it. That's all I fucking need. Because the action's out there, Jack. Not in the bathroom. Unless you're, unless you're, you know, trying to find some fun in the bathroom. The action's out there! The action's at the bar, the action's at the restaurant, the action's at the ballpark, or the basketball game, or the hockey game. The action is not in the fucking bathroom! I mean, what are they gonna do next? You know, okay, fine, since we're gonna be doing this, I have my own idea that I will patent straight after this, this video, so none of you try to steal it. I'm going to have a system that, minus the water, weighs your turd. That's right, after you drop a deuce, it weighs the deuce. And the person that has the heaviest turd in that entire day wins a free wheel of cheese. I'm an innovative guy. I really am. What do you guys think about this? Is this innovative or is this just technology gone fucking berserk? I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard enough time peeing when some asshat is talking to me. I'm sitting here with my hands on my pecker trying to urinate and some guy, Hey, how's your wife and kids doing? Hey, hey. So I usually pee on my hand and shake his hand. Hey, have a very nice day, sir. <laughs> Have a very nice fucking day. What do you guys think about this? Would you be more inclined to go to a place that has gaming systems on the bathroom? What is next? I wonder what's next. I'm sure we'll find out very, very soon. Have a good day, folks.